Everybody knows what you're there to do when you pull up in a government vehicle and we're in our dress uniforms. That's the only reason we're normally there for us. I am Chaplain Brian Phipps. I am the battalion chaplain for the 725th Brigade Support Battalion, uh, Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson. And so I have been here in Alaska just over a year. There are six battalion chaplains and one brigade chaplain. We have anywhere from 600 to you know 800 personnel that we're responsible for. Um, and then in the case of where people are deployed right now, there's two chaplains here for about 1,400 personnel and then their families. Uh, so for me, it's earning that right uh, with, with all the soldiers that I work with. And so when we're in the field, I'm in the field with them. When we're sleeping in the mud, I'm sleeping in the mud with them. When we're setting up tents, I'm setting up tents with them. And so what I have found uh, through my ministry of being an army chaplain is by doing that, I earn that right with them. And so they learn to trust me. They see who I am. They see who I, I, I am, who I say I am. And because of that, that builds that trust and rapport. And then they come and seek me out and sit down, hey, Hey, Chaplain, here's what I got going on. Can you help me? So additional to counseling, um, you also do a lot of, I, I've done probably, I don't know, seven or eight marriage retreats this year. We even did some just strictly for deployed spouses. We're teaching them skills of what can you do to not only build your marriage, but a lot of times, and you know, we also provide childcare during that, and it's a time where the parents can have a moment just to themselves. I remember the first time I did a retreat, I had a, a couple come up and tell me this was the first time they had childcare or was without their kid in 10 years that they could actually just have a moment to sit and have a nice dinner and kind of talk about them. So it's rewarding to see people that have problems and how they're able to overcome those problems simply by seeking out you know, help and getting, some, getting that advice. When we lose someone uh, that's in uniform, uh, the, the best thing that we do is we honor their life to their country and their service that they gave to this country. And so part of that is is honoring what they did through what we would call a memorial uh, ceremony, uh, which is where we set up, we have rifle and boots, and we honor them with the 21 gun salute and presentation of the flag and those kind of things. Providing that initial care and then that follow on care um, to the families. For a lot of it is literally just, you know, being there, being that comfort, listening to them, being engaged, and let them let them talk about what they want to talk about. I mean, we're here to help people and it, wearing the uniform means it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week.